Hi guys, my name is Kes Kes, aka Mikes. So today I'm gonna be talking about the kind of friends you need to avoid if you really wanna be successful in life. So before we begin, please, I want you guys to click on the subscription button below, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification button for subsequent videos. Okay, without much ado, I wanna go straight to number one. If you want to be successful in life, there are certain kind of friends that you need to have around you. You need to have a circle of, of real friends. You need to avoid an unsupportive friend. In essence, I want to say that you should have supportive friends instead of unsupportive friends. Back in the days when I was broke, I used to keep some certain kind of friends but right now i've understood and i worked on myself and i've known that the kind of friends i keep around me determines who i'm going to become so if i have successful friends around me i'm going to be successful and if people that are not successful want to be successful if they want to have me as friends i should also see that they have that potential in them they are they're striving to move forward in life and so they have something to gain from me they said follow who no road. So if you if you know road, I believe people will follow you. Some of your friends that know the way forward, you have to follow them. Follow them in doing positive things, things that's gonna elevate you, take you to the next level of your life, achieve some certain goals that you really wanna accomplish in life. There's a video coming up next. Take a look at this video. If you don't have a friend that is supportive, you need to avoid that friend. Back in the days, I had this friend that I, 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 I actually met him to show me the way to achieve success. But he turned me down. Instead, he, 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 kinda, he, kind, of, he kind of just watch this video and see for yourself. Bros. Bros, I've seen you today, bros. You're the biggest bully, like, bros. Bros, bros, see, see, show me how to catch fish. Show me how to catch this fish. How to make this chadas. How to catch fish now. Don't make me fish talk. Bro, show me how to catch fish now. Okay, you want, you want to catch fish. I want to make them. Um, show me how to catch fish. See, no, they give me fish talk. Show me how to catch fish. Oh, you're my guy. You're my guy. It's not a problem. Okay, you know what? Let's go. I'll make you. Oh my God. You're my guy. Okay. Don't worry, let's go. A few moments later. We are going to it. How to chat? Is it funny? No, it's not funny. Is it funny? No, it's not funny. Is it this funny? Need to be hard work. Yeah, go catch fish. Yeah, come on, come on, your slippers. Come on, slippers. Come on, 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 I got no vest. Bro, me this your this thing. Go ahead. I won't, I won't, I won't make camp. Bro. Yes, no vest. Eh? Bro, me. I fish you. You will catch fish, my brother. Yeah. I like your spirit. Yeah. Sorry, host. Be a good guy. Eh? Be a good guy, bro. Thank you very much. Eh? Just... I don't understand again. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You want to catch fish, bro? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, go on, go on, man. Bro, I see me show me how to catch fish. No, be see me, give me a net now. Guy. See the water. See water. See water. See fish. You don't know. Catch fish, yeah? You don't yeah. know why you're going on. Bro, it's not so light, Pete. It's not so light, my brother. Catch fish. The earlier we realize this, life. I said, man, you show me how to catch fish. Now you carry me to river. The earlier we realize this, the better it is. My friend, we don't make out. I said, man, you show me how to catch fish. Man, you know they give me fish chop. Eh? Man, you show me how to catch fish. Now you carry me to river. I never see life. life. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, guys. Please. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As you can see from that video, it was so funny. Back in the days I was broke and I had this friend that's it's actually great. He had the opportunity to show me the way to succeed. But instead, he turned me down. So number two, you need to avoid draining friends. There are some certain friends that will drain your energy down. You always turn up for them. They always want you to help them do stuff, so you understand? So you give them your all, you give them everything you have, you support them, but they are never there for you. They will drain your energy, use you, in the end, they don't have anything to offer you. They don't actually reciprocate that kind gestures that you've shown to them. So you need to avoid those kind of friends. Number three, you need to avoid unrewarding friends unrewarding friends 
there are some certain friends that you have for instance and you get to do stuff for them and they, they never appreciate you they never give you reward they never say thank you they always they feel they are entitled per se that you you should always do it for them because they are above you so it doesn't mean if somebody is above you we all need to be rewarded we all need to be appreciated so you need to avoid unrewarding friends and keep the one that always bring out the best in you by appreciating you unsatisfying friends there are certain friends that are never satisfied with what you do they are never satisfied with what you have to offer to them so you need to let go sometimes if you get things done for them and they never they're never satisfied they are always looking for faults looking for the way to turn you down to kill the vibe in you to make you feel low of yourself then in fact you need to avoid these friends and attract or keep friends that will appreciate you even if you are going wrong if you do something that is not nice they look for better ways to make you understand that you need to improve on yourself praise singer friends you see there are certain friends that they always praise you everything you do they praise you even if you are going wrong they praise you they say oh I, I, I would say they are those psycho fans you know they always agree to everything all your decisions they don't do critical analysis to your your plans or your decision you tell them about your life goals your plans they always praise you for instance you you are dressed up to go out they, they say wow you're looking good all the time they don't try to look or check certain things that they need to tell you to correct so you need to avoid the praise singer friends there are some certain friends that anything that you you say they say yes that's that's it they don't actually see the positive or the negative impact of your decisions they just agree so you need to be careful of such kind of friends so you need to avoid those friends that would always lie to you telling you that you are you are doing the right thing thumbs up all the time you don't always get thumbs up in life you do some stuff that could lead you to failure and you need friends that will always tell you the truth that if you do this you're not going to succeed or it's wrong for you to do this avoid the praise singer friends the ones that will always tell you yeah you're doing right yeah kudos ah you there you there you there okay naga you are always on point you are always on point every time you're always on, you do this they accept it they don't tell you the truth they always tell you yes yes all the time so you need to be careful of this kind of friends because you might make wrong decisions and they will still tell you yeah you are doing right you are doing great have friends that will bold to tell you that you are going the wrong way or you or tell you that yeah you are doing right so if you're doing the wrong thing and you have friends that are telling you the truth that telling you that you are doing you're not you're not going the right way i believe those are the right friends that you need to keep we have people that are bosses in the office you come to the office you have staffs always praising you welcome sir welcome ma. all the time you are looking all the time they never want to tell you to your face that ma this stuff is not actually good for for this office because you are the one that brought that plan made that decision so since it's coming from you they don't want to hurt your feelings sing into your ears that you are always right so you need to be careful of this kind of people around you if you want to be successful in life so if you have friends that tells you you are doing well when you're actually doing well that's good you you are doing wrong when you are wrong they tell you to your face and they look for the right way to put it to you so you understand that you are actually doing the wrong thing so you need to understand that these friends are the ones for you another friend that you need to be mindful of in the sense that you need to avoid them they are friends that have poor mindset they always see success as not something that is for you guys you know there are some friends that they are so low that they don't like anything successful at all so if you if you share your life goals your dreams of how you want to become rich for instance how you want to attain some certain level how you want to get degree how you want to go to school they just tell you no this is scam this is not good so you need to be careful because those kind of friends will never let you to be great they are scared of success i'll use this as an example i remember when i was in the university there's a you know university life 
and there was a girl i asked out back then i come to lecture all looking good just because i really want to attract positivity that's why i had that that character so i asked her out and she told me wow you that is famous you that is a fine boy i cannot date a fine boy that's uh you that have money she actually saw me that like i'm rich actually so she said you know you that have money i cannot be with you so immediately she uttered that word that was a turn off for me because i don't imagine how can i have somebody who who sees success as something bad that's actually not the kind of people i need in my life so that was a turn off for me a blow for me so i had to avoid her immediately so i changed my mind and i became single as usual so if you want to be successful you need to have friends that are really thinking big they have life goals they have plans they push no matter the circumstance no matter the, how the economy is is weighing down they always see light at the end of the tunnel so these are the kind of friends you need to attract and you need to avoid those friends with poor mentality Another kind of friend that you need to avoid if you want to be great, if you want to be successful in life, you need to avoid the dreamer. There are friends that they always dream, I want to be, they don't take actions, you know. They say, they say the action speaks louder than voice. It's easier said than done, you know. So, you know, it's good to say something because if you think something, you imagine anything, you say it out. That utterance would actually bring a light or bring a life into your world so but you need to make move you know in anything you say or anything you dream of achieving you need to stand up and make move immediately so you need to have plans of how to achieve your goals in life so it's either you push them and they pick up or they pull you down so you need to be mindful and be careful of keeping this kind of friends that's always dreaming they don't have plans of how to achieve their dreams one of the very kind of friend that you need to avoid if you want to be successful these are the lazy friends lazy friends they are very lazy you see them they are so unkept even from the way they live their life how they keep their surroundings you notice that they are very lazy they don't have any plan for themselves they just they just they just they they don't want to pass through pain acquire skills go out search for contracts you know in anything you you want to achieve in life you need to go for it you get me you need to go for it you need to go out there you need to go into the jungle take it and grab it so there are some lazy friends that always want to be relaxed they are so relaxed in their comfort zone so you need to be careful and mindful of this kind of friends because they will actually weigh you down if you want to be successful you need friends of like minds you know to get at the job done get it done immediately asap so you need to build a circle of friends with the same kind of vision and you guys will actually push yourself to limelight you know so avoid friends that are lazy if you want to be successful Another kind of friend that you need to avoid they are the rigid minded friends. They always want to be the ones in control, always want to win every argument. They always want to be the boss. So if you have this kind of friends that always want to be the boss, sometimes you stoop low, sometimes you be the boss, you know, in life. You need to have a balance. You don't always want to be on top of everybody. So this kind of friends that always want to be the boss, they want to be in control, they want to be the ones that they always celebrate. They want to be celebrated. They don't think about others. No matter how low people are, for instance, your, your staffs from your cleaner, to your security man everybody has rights you know to say something everybody has right to be celebrated everybody also have a position that they need to take control so avoid friends that always want to take control win every situation win every argument so those are the kind of friends that you need to be mindful of if you want to be successful you keep positive friends once again my name is Kes Kes please I want to say Drop a comment on this video, 
tell me what you think give me your own point of view of the kind of friends that you need to keep or the kind of friends that you need to avoid if you want to be successful please do subscribe and watch out for more videos from your boy case case i have a photo shoot to catch up with it's a boy case case uno see you guys